Our composition has a duration of 30 seconds with a frame rate of 30 frames per second. Let's zoom out and play the animation to see the basketball fall with a constant speed before stabilizing. In order to focus on these two keyframes and concentrate on the beginning of the animation, we'll use something called a work area. A work area is made up of two points and it allows you to define an area that'll be looped. Just click on the right work area handle and drag it to move it to the left. Then play the animation, which will play in a loop. There's a menu at the top of the stack where you can set the start and end time codes for this work area. If you place your mouse over this area, you can click on it and drag it from left to right. If you go back to the menu, you'll see that the in and out time codes have been adjusted. There's no limit to the amount of work areas Autograph lets you create, so you can create multiple work areas. After moving the playhead, go back to the menu and click on Create Work Area. A second work area will appear on screen, and the names of these work areas will be displayed. During playback, Autograph will automatically jump from one area to another to play only the selected parts. During rendering, these work areas can be used to render only certain images. Going back to the menu allows you to name these work areas, here for example, second part, and this name will appear in the dope sheet. Back in the menu, if you click on the X's, you'll delete these work areas. The name of the remaining work area won't be displayed. To quickly add a work area to the dope sheet, Simply double click on the area you want to add it to. Its default duration will be 3 seconds. You can add as many work areas as you want, and even intersect them to combine their durations. During playback, it's this combination of work areas that'll determine which image is played or saved on your storage. In the case you use audio files, they'll be trimmed based on the work areas. Let's go back to our initial situation and just keep one work area. In this video, we went over how to define the in and out points of a work area, add multiple work areas, and set their durations. 